Hey, Brick Barron's back, man, and I have a great question from Dark Star tonight. He writes that, uh, Brick Barron, what are your thoughts on the Doctor Who set 21304 that recently retired? I do have some thoughts on that set as an investment. And here it are. And basically it's this. Look, Doctor Who, any collectible okay, that you're thinking is going to be worth more money down the road, um, has to have appeal. Like Doctor Who has that. They have a very strong fan base. Um, they also, this set is just so gorgeous and so well put together that it also reaches out and is attractive to people who aren't even Doctor Who fans like myself. Um, I bought the set because I absolutely loved the build. I just had to have it, had to build this thing. So it's definitely got the appeal both to Doctor Who fans and non-Doctor Who fans. So you got that going for you. Here's the numbers though. Let's run it down. Now, to really look at this set, it's, it's always helpful to kind of look at another set that's sort of like it. So I picked the DeLorean from 2013, set number 21103. Now the DeLorean has a bit of an interesting history. Um, it was a smaller set at 401 pieces as opposed to Doctor Who, which is 623. DeLorean's retail price in 2013 was $35, a little on the low side, I thought, for a, a set of 401 pieces and two great minifigures. However, um, if we look uh, right now, the sales data on that, uh, the DeLorean is selling. Uh, the sealed sets are selling for $109 on average, and it's sold 14 times at that price already here in January. So that's pretty amazing. It's basically tripled, it's almost tripled its value um, in just uh, three years. Now, currently, I always look at the high end for the set of what it was probably worth by looking at the part out value. Um, the part out value of the DeLorean right now is actually, um, it, it's on the low end, it's $78 if you look at just the last six month sales averages. But if you look at the four sale averages, I mean the parts in the stores right now, um, it's, it's 108 So really, that tells me you're going to pay closer to the 108 mark to part this set out yourself because you have to buy from multiple BrickLink people and, and shipping and handling and taxes and stuff all kind of adds up. And you're probably looking at about 110 or more to part that set yourself. So that makes sense. The sets to buy the set sealed at $109 is a fair price. Now, Doctor Who. Doctor Who retailed at $60 and it just recently retired. Now, at 623 pieces, it's a slightly larger set in terms of the pieces, um, but it had a much also much higher uh, uh, retail price. So the part out value right now in Doctor Who is um, $107. That is the last six month sales average of the parts, as opposed to $133 average of parts that are in stores right now. And as always, we're going to take that higher number because you got to factor in multiple orders from different Brooklyn sellers. You're going to factor in uh, shipping and handling and taxes and all the fees and all the stuff that goes along into it. So in other words, for someone to, to basically get all the Doctor Who set, part it out themselves, through BrickLink or, or, or BrickAl or whatever they're, they're buying from, they're going to pay um, over $133 to do that. So therefore, it makes sense to buy the whole sealed set for about $130. So I think $130 is at least um, what the price will eventually get to um, at least two to three years out from now. So that probably puts us somewhere around, I'd say 2019 maybe or so, or possibly even sooner. So the good news is, that does fit my definition. You are going to double your money on that set if you bought one in about two to three years or possibly less. So yes, the Doctor Who set is a great buy for investment and I wish I had bought more of them. I did buy some and I, I gave some away as gifts because they were so great. I love the set. And then I went up buying, I, I went up building the ones that I had. I gave one to my son to build. I built one. I gave two away as presents. And um, so if I love the set that much, not being a Doctor Who fan, um, it will definitely have appeal um, outside the genre. So those are my thoughts. Yes, great buy. Pick it up. And um, if you haven't, well, they're retired now. Uh, I'm not sure if they're still out there on Amazon or not. But uh, if you do have a couple of them, hang on to them sealed. And you're going to double your money. All right? And that's, as always, that is the Brick Barry. And I will see you later.